Good morning, or oh, depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always, told out of voice radio, and after the fairly ridiculous clay burst opening from the other day, I'll link it in the description. If you've not watched that video, you should definitely go watch that video. Now it's time for Snow Hazard. Uh, another shout out to lovely Antoine Boulet for hooking me up with a box at the amount it actually costs to get a box, because Antoine is one of the best people in the world. I'm a big fan of Antoine. So, uh, yeah, that, seriously, go watch the Clay... I'm not telling you what happened, but go watch the Clay Burst video. That was a very good box. Uh, in this particular box, I am, I am... I'll be honest with you, I am desperate for the Squawkabilly, uh, the alternate art or the special illustration rare, the Amalekart one. That is by far my preferred card from this set. In terms of the artwork rares, uh, there's an Okacheke Orf one I am very excited about. So, they're the cards I'm really looking for from this set. But we'll have to have a look. Usual deal, of course. In a box, you should be expecting to hit four EXs out of the six in the set. Three artwork rares out of the 12 in a set. And then one secret rare of some description. So, let's get rolling, shall we? Oh, there's a teacup. Oh, starting off strong with Chen Pao. Poster child for the set, quite possibly the best DX in... Oh, no, Squawkabilly. It could still be the best DX in the set, but Squawkabilly, Squawkabilly is pretty busted. Excellent card. The ability lets you search out two water energy from your deck if it's active. The attack lets you discard as much water energy from your board as you like, dealing 60 for each one discarded. And there's about Scalibur in the set. Hopefully we'll put one of them in a minute. That lets you just detach as much water energy during your turn as you like. Put it all together, and you have a very imposing deck indeed. So, oh, hey, speaking of Squawkabilly, so we're two packs in, and we have pulled the two really good EXs from the set. Squawkabilly's got a redonkulous ability, lets you only on your first turn, it's only usable on your very first turn of the game, lets you discard your hand and draw six cards. So yeah, two packs in, two very, very good EXs. This is nice. This is very nice. Okay. Is that a bunch of cards there? We will, um, we'll pick up some artists as we go through. In this double set, Kato's been crushing it. In, um, you know, we sh showed you things like Spide Ops and... Uh, oh, Tandem House, I think it was, in Clayburst. Oh, there's your Kuramitsu Mankey. Big fan of that one. Hey! And there's your Hollow for the pack. I kind of like it. It's actually kind of cool, isn't it? It's 120. Uh, wait a second. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I think it's if you've got an empty hand, it costs one water energy. Wait, or is it one? It's one card in hand. Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen. I'm trying to do translations on the fly. And I am absolutely just... I'm beefing it, frankly. I am um, I am not doing a great job of this. How rude of me, ladies and gentlemen. How rude of me. It is single energy 120. But I am... um, Ah, oh, this Veluza's got me all in a tizzy. No, it is if you've got it is if you've got no cards in hand, it's for one water energy. I'm not going crazy. Okay. I second guessed myself. I was right. It is if you've got zero cards in hand, you can use it for one water energy. Okay. Now I feel better. I started feeling like I'd mistranslated it. Panicked a little bit. Came back. Jobs are good un. Ooh, now this is a very, very, very cool card. This is one of the artwork rares in the set. I absolutely adore. There's a bit of a theme lately, a bit of a running thing where we keep seeing art in the Pokemon TCG, which is just basically Pokemon in the water, where you can kind of see a cross-section and the water underneath of all the Pokemon just kind of swimming around, just like we see here. This is cool. And I, I grew up near the sea, I should mention. Go Google Cornwall. Cornwall. It is, it's a part in England I'm from. It's all coast, basically. And you're surrounded by sea everywhere you go. So, I very much grew up by the sea. Still live very near the sea. Hey, there's a regular off one. We want the Okacheki one if that's all well and good. Oh, this is a great comeback card. 
And um, yeah, basically it's it's free energy if you're behind on prizes. Very very cool. Very and a, a two and a whole Pokemon. Very cool card. So um, so yeah, cards like that that really evoke the water make me very very happy indeed because I'm I'm a bit of a water boy. So we hit two EXs, one artwork rare. We're still expecting two more EXs, two more artwork rares, and a secret rare of some description. I suppose the Chen Pao special illustration rare wouldn't go amiss. <laughs> that would be cool. But no, I'll be honest with you. I want the Amelicart Squawkavilly. That is one of the cards I'm going to buy. I am going to pick it up as a single at some point, just because it's such a beautiful card. But it would be quite nice if we didn't have to bother... You know, just, just go pick it up. You know, grab it in a box. Not have to worry. That would be lovely. Of course, there is the um, there's Grusha in this set. And Giacomo has special artwork rares. Or special illustration rares. In English, it's cool it. Uh, what else have we got? Chen Pao. Special illustration rare is very cool. Obviously, Wo Chi ends in the set. So, there's a lot of very cool stuff that can be pulled. Oh, including our old pal, the Dunsparce. How lovely. I do love opening Japanese boxes. I think I told you before, but my, my, my collecting goal for Japanese sets is one of every card, not including secret rares, but now in the Scarlet and Violet era, including artwork rares. So all the commons, all the uncommons, all the hollow rares, all the EXs, all the artwork rares. And then because of my boxes, you know, every box will get me one random secret rare that I can kind of pop on a page and, and feel happy about. But, oh, we got a hollow in here. What is it? Hey, it's um, Glimora. There we go. But yeah, so when you buy a Japanese box, you get four of the six EXs. Yay. Uh, all the commons, all the uncommons. You're generally missing one or two hollows. So in terms of the set as a whole, you just need to buy a couple EXs and a couple hollows. And that's it. That's the entire set. Uh, for me as well, I would then want to go and buy the other nine artwork rares. Oh, yes. Oh, that's the one we wanted. Speaking of artwork rares, that is the Oka Cheke Orthworm. I adore that card, ladies and gentlemen. That is a wonderful card. Real Dune vibes, obviously. But I just, I love Okacheke. I have to get a second one of them, incidentally, because I need one for my Okacheke binder and one for my Japanese set binder. But that is still extremely cool. That is the artwork where I most wanted, not just in Snow Hazard, but in Snow Hazard and Glaiburst combined. So that is awesome. I'll probably pick up a, a, another couple of singles at some point. So yeah, so I, I buy a box and then it's just buy a couple of X's, a couple of hollows, nine artwork rares, but very few of the artwork rares end up being worth more than a pound or two. So yeah, it's just nice to go and pick up a bunch of singles. Makes me very, very happy. Right. Oh, we got a hollow in here. What we got? Oh, good old Slow King. Makes me very, um... Yeah, it's, it's it's sad, right? Because they keep doing really interesting things, but they're making it like borderline impossible to use. You know, they've got high HP and they do lots of damage. You've got interesting attacks, but they're stage twos and they make it awkward. Oh my goodness, the artwork rares love me in this set. I like Ice Q, one of my favorite Gen 8 Pokemon. I love this artwork rare. One Ice Cube stuck in the fridge. Another Ice Cube looking on. Oh, I love this card. Right. I think I might have gotten the three best artwork rares in the set. I think I might legit have got the three best artwork rares in Snow Hazard. That is awesome. Oh, my goodness. Someone's looking out for me today. This is nice. This is very nice. Right. Oh, lovely Kato artwork there. Said I'd point out some Kato, didn't I? Oh. Rapscab. Oh, my goodness. I can never remember that thing's name. Like, ever. I cannot remember that thing's name. It is, um... Oh, it is Rapska. Okay, I was right. It's, just, it's not a memorable Pokemon to me. It's one of the last ones I evolved. Because it had the awkward evolution mechanic of walking a certain number of steps with it. But, yeah... Not a fan of that Pokemon, I think it's fair to say. But artwork rares. Give me the, the Marrow with the C. Give me the Ice Cube. Give me the Okacheke Orthworm. I mean, yeah, this is good. I mean, if, and this is a lot to ask, I, I, I admit, all right? I admit it's a lot to ask. 
But if we can somehow pull the Special Illustration Rare Squawkabilly, this is the perfect box. Now, maybe not for everybody, but for me, that would be the perfect box. Ah, oh, why would you do that to me? Boo! And look, the Squawkabilly's really cool, all right? Squawkabilly's very cool. But I'm literally sitting here saying that if I can pull the Special Illustration Rare Squawkabilly, this will be the perfect box. And then the full art Squawkabilly comes out. It's still a very cool card. Still a secret rare. But it's the wrong one. It's not the Squawkabilly I care about. It's the Amelica artwork. That's what we're talking about. Still, last two boxes we've opened have been double hit boxes. Maybe, ladies and gentlemen, maybe there's a chance. I think the chance is slim. But you never know. Could happen. There's your Grusha. So, from this box, we are still expecting a couple of EXs. We pulled our artwork, we pulled our free artwork rares, we pulled our secret rare, we pulled two EXs. Weirdly, we pulled our EXs from the first two packs and haven't pulled another one since. Oh, there's your Max Scalibur I mentioned earlier. That's the one that lets you attach as much water energy from your hand during your turn as you like. Goes very nicely with your Chen Pao. So, that's very cool. Oh, hollows are coming thick and fast. There's your Abomber Snow. We are... I'm sure this is more hollows than we got in our Clay Burst box. Could be wrong. Have to wait and see later, won't we? Right. So we're still waiting for a couple of BXs. When are they going to start coming out? I've hit five in a box before. I've never hit more, fewer than four. It would be very upsetting if this was the box of... <gasps> what if we get the EXs in the first two and the last two packs of the box? That'd be cool, right? Of course, now I've said it, there'll be an EX in this pack because this box is clearly toying with me. I, I can't really complain, honestly. I got the three best artwork rares. I think they might be the three best artwork rares. The Sudowoodoo is very cool, but I think they're the three best. And, you know, got two Squawkabilly, including the full art. Got the Chen Pao, so... It's a very good box. So close, so close to being the perfect box. But in the end, it just didn't want to be. We probably even pulled all of our, um, even our, all of our hollows at this point. Right. So we are down to our final five packs of cards. There should be two EXs in here. Unless something's gone terribly, terribly wrong. Come on, EXs. Oh, there's one. What is it? Hey, it's our lovely friend, Wo Chen. How nice. So, I wouldn't mind getting a Terrastal. That'd be kind of cool. This is a very cool card. We like Wo Chen. Wo Chen is cool. It is Slow King, the, the Terrastal in this set, right? I'm not going crazy. Yeah, it is Slow King. I'm right. There we go. The problem is, because I, I cover all the Japanese sets, and then I cover all the English sets, every so often, I get slightly confused as to what's in what. But no, I was right. It was Slow King. We did good. Oh, and the last one. Oh, Copper Raja. And of course, I did have the exclusive reveal in English of Copper Raja EX. So can't be terribly upset about that one. So that, of course, does mean the, that the EXs we did not pull are, of course, the Slow King and Annihilate. So now I did this last time and it backfired in a really nice way. But in theory, we've opened all the EXs, we've opened all of the artwork rares, we've opened our secret rare for the box. So, in theory, what should be remaining is basically bulk with a hollow, maybe, if I'm lucky. So, last time I did this, we ended up pulling a second secret rare. Can we get that lucky again? So these are the last three packs of cards mashed together. Because we're not expecting anything. We've hit our quota, so to speak. Oh, and I'm accidentally fanning the cards out as I'm doing this. And I'm not seeing any any sparkles at the side. Oh, I think we might be out of luck this time, ladies and gentlemen. Yep, just a whole bunch of bulk cards. But it is hard to be terribly upset. Because, like I say, we literally hit, in my eyes, the three best artwork rares in the set. We hit the two best EXs. 
And it wasn't a special illustration rare that I coveted, but we did hit a secret rare Squawk Billy anyway. And it's still a very cool card. It's just the fact that I literally said, if we pull the special illustration rare Squawk Billy, this will be the perfect box. And then the next pack, we pulled the full art. That's just a little bit sad. Right, you know the deal. Comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Tell me what you think about this set. Go nuts in the comment section, but be nice. And then, yeah, check out Patreon, check out Twitter, all that good stuff. Thank you very much for watching me. My name is Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio. Bye.